creates a vision for healing the broken world of creation. At the outset, the pandemic has created a pandemonium. The brokenness of the world is very vivid today in the context of COVID-19. Death and devastation has been at its peak in India. Hospitals have been overcrowded with thousands of patients in very serious health conditions. Dead bodies have been in queues to be cremated. Loss and pain, tears and misery, fear and hopelessness have engulfed the ordinary masses of the rural India. It is very painful to see thousands of small children wallowing in the valley of hunger. The miserable life of the poor and the unimaginable plight of the migrants and women during the lockdown is deplorable. Human life and its dignity at its stake. Insecurity and fear of future has been threatening the very core of future of the youth today. All these miseries are human made. These are the byproducts of the unbridled consumeristic culture perpetuated by the money minded few individuals and the power monger politicians. As John Berger would put it, the miseries of our century is unlike that of any other. It is not that the poverty was so before. Today, it is due to a set of priorities imposed upon the rest of the world by the rich. The modern poor are not pitied but written off as trash. The 21st century consumer economy has produced a culture for which a beggar is a reminder of nothing. The North American cry is becoming true today. As it goes, only when the last tree has been dead and the last river has been poisoned and the last fish has been caught, will we realize that we cannot eat money. The chief cause of our brokenness today is less the violence of our passions than the feebleness of our virtues. Buddha would enlighten us that attachment to views that money and power can buy anything is the greatest impediment to the spiritual path. Bound to narrow views, one becomes so entangled that it is no longer possible to let the door of truth be opened. It is at this moment Saint Ignatius shows us the way, a way, a way of life, a lamp for our steps every moment and every day. That is the examine. Yes, it is the examination of conscience or the examination of consciousness. When Saint Ignatius suggested that the unexamined life is not worth living, he showed us exactly that the pursuit of wisdom and truth is not simply an external inquiry, it is an inquiry within. It is an inward journey into the realm of one's own character, behavior, beliefs, and more importantly, one's mission 
in life it is an attitude of self reflection and self orientation am i doing my best at this moment today what have i done to improve the plight of the poor what am i doing to alleviate the sufferings and hunger of the little ones what would i do to bring peace and justice on earth we must be ready for change at every moment of our life every day every morning and at every evening as confucius would say they must often change who would be constant in happiness and wisdom a cold attitude triggers chemicals of anxiety and tension a kind attitude triggers chemicals of well-being and flexibility if a child lives with criticism it learns to condemn if a child lives with hostility it learns to fight if a child lives with tolerance it learns to be patient if a child lives with encouragement it learns confidence if a child lives with praise it learns to appreciate if a child lives with fairness it learns justice if a child lives with approval it learns to like itself if a child lives with acceptance and friendship it learns to find love both in itself and in the world change begins from within a kind world comes from our kindness to the poor and the suffering a peaceful world comes from our peace within and without a just world comes from our courage to stand for equality and justice a fulfilled world comes from our generosity of service to the marginalized and the oppressed if there is light in the soul there will be beauty in the person if there is beauty in the person there will be harmony in the house if there is harmony in the house there will be order in the nation if there is order in the nation there will be peace in the world